Hi, this is Rima Lebo, the Medical Director of the Natural Solutions Foundation. And I'd like to talk to you about battles that you win and battles that you lose in a war. Now, as I understand it, we're in a war for our health, our survival, and our freedom around food, food components, supplements, and other items that we make choices about in terms of how we want to protect our health and our well-being or regain it if we've lost health and well-being. I'm in Thailand right now, and Thailand is a battle that we've lost. We lost the battle in Thailand because we were under-resourced. That simple. For the last year or so, I've been spending a good deal of time in Thailand trying to influence the food policies here. My adversary, Monsanto, and its companion, Greed. Monsanto has been operating in Thailand here since 1997, and there has been a good deal of outcry and opposition to field trials and uh, controlling the rice crop, the corn crop, the soy crop, the papaya crop, and all the other crops that Monsanto could control. Monsanto decided that Thailand would serve as a hub for Asia and that it was ideally suited to be a biotech uh, leading edge site. The Thai people said no. The Thai farmers said absolutely no. But in November of 2007, the junta, the military ruling government, just before it left office, signed a contract with Monsanto, basically bringing over the food supply of Thailand to Monsanto. There was little outcry because the press really didn't have the information. When the new government came in, in December of 2007, they ratified the contract and made it official. The food supply of Thailand, known around the world for its food, and in fact, the principal exporter of rice in the world, is now contaminated and will be increasingly contaminated as subsequent crops come in and as the seeds are spread in one crop after another. Thailand has food which, although delicious, will shortly not be fit to eat, in my opinion. How tragic. Thailand, the land of the free, has been invaded not by a foreign army, but by foreign franken food. Now, what does that have to do with you? You don't live in Thailand. It has to do with you in terms of survival, in terms of fertility, in terms of cancer, autoimmune disease, and every other kind of foodborne disease that genetically modified food can bring you. The United States government, because of a 1992 decree by then President George Bush, the senior, says that it is illegal, forbidden, prohibited, to label genetically modified food, and yet 85% of our food, which is prepared, is genetically modified and is created from genetically modified ingredients. That means that you are part of an experiment. You're eating foods which have huge impact on your biology and on your fertility, on your health and on your future, and on future generations, and you don't know it because it's not legal to tell you that the food is genetically modified. What can you do about it? Plenty, unless you want to be in the position that the Thai people now are, where they no longer do anything. You can call the manufacturers of the foods that you eat and say, are your foods genetically modified? I want a letter or an email stating that they are not. If they refuse to give you that letter or email or tell you that they do contain genetically modified foods, I want you to send me an email. I want you to tell me the name of the food and, if you can, the person that you spoke to. And we'll publish that. The Natural Solutions Foundation will disseminate that information so that all of us can make better choices in the foods that we eat and select those foods which are not genetically modified. That's one thing you can do. You can become part of the Natural Solutions Foundation Health Freedom Food Rangers and give us that information. I promise you we'll publish it. The next thing that you can do is select organic food 
found that, yes, yes, it's more expensive. Cancer's expensive, too. Infertility is expensive, too. Autoimmune disease is expensive, too. It's worth the investment. Cut out something else. Make the arrangement. Or better yet, grow your own food. Get together with some neighbors and start growing your own food from organic seed. And make sure that you have a clean, unadulterated harvest available to you. Yes, it's work. It's good for the kids. It's good for you. And guess what? The food's better and more nourishing. So you can also, in addition to growing your own food, make sure that you talk to the farmers in your area who grow your food and make sure that they're growing it by organic standards using organic seeds. Now, is that more work? Sure it is. Is it worth the effort? Only if your health is important to you. Only if the health of your family and your children uh, and those you love might be important to you. Of course it's worth it. And the next thing you can do is make sure that you join the Natural Solutions Foundation site, the forum called No Genetically Modified Foods. There's a link on the screen right now that tells you how you can sign up for that forum. Become an active part. And through your membership in that forum and the Natural Solutions Foundation Health Freedom e-alerts, which you can sign up for too, there's a link for your screen, on your screen for that as well. Through your participation, you can take action, effective action, to make sure that the people who make decisions for us, sometimes against us, know that it's not okay to have unlabeled genetically modified food, that it's not okay to have genetically modified vaccines pumped into you, that it's not okay to be part of the world's leading human experiment with no controls, with no informed consent, and in direct violation to the Helsinki Convention, the Nuremberg Code, and the Declaration of Human Rights. The Natural Solutions Foundation is protecting you and your food, and therefore your health and well-being. Help us protect you by becoming involved and sharing this video conversation with everyone you know asking them to become involved too. This is our battle. The corporations are fighting against us. We have to fight for ourselves. Thank you.